So these are the rocks that I picked out of the gravel. It was getting dark out and needed to come in and get a little better lighting. But I'm loading the kiln and I need to fire it off so we need to get this done. I have four little dishes and I figured I'd pick one of each. I'm actually curious to see if there really is any difference in between these. For all I know it's exactly the same thing. I'll make an educated guess if that's a quartz. And then we have this one. We'll burn that one see what happens. Save those for later. So here they are one more time uh, before I put them in the kiln and fire them to cone 5 and we'll see what happens. So here they are out of the kiln. Only one of them melted enough to stick to the bowl. This one kind of stuck, but I'll show you each one. The quartz got a little darker in color, but no evidence that there was any melting and that I'm not really surprised. This too, who knows what it is, kind of changed color. It was a little more green, but this one though is kind of exciting. It's shiny. It's stuck down. It definitely changed shape. So this one I think is our winner. But this one is interesting too. I'm not sure if the camera is going to show it well, but there are shiny spots. Almost like little pieces of this in this aggregate and those parts melted, which is I think what also stuck here. But clearly whatever else is in the aggregate uh, doesn't want to melt. So here's our winner. So I have some more pieces. Uh, that look the same as this and let's see if we can cut them up with a diamond saw, make a little dust and paint them on a pot. All right, so let me show you what we have. We have the granite and we have the red rock. And you can see there's not very much. I knew there wasn't going to be very much, but we got enough to test. But we'll have to be sparing. And I'm going to apply them to two different small cups, one textured, one not. For what it's worth, it goes on like a slip, like a glaze without a lot of thickness. I honestly probably should have thought and through what my strategy was here, because I don't think I have enough to do the whole cup. Might have been a good idea to make it up in a more attractive way, but we'll get to see it, see what happens at least. All right, next let's do the I have a lot more here. You can see it's a thick, sludgy paste. 
and this is again this is rock dust that I actually picked up at a local quarry when I went to pick up granite slabs for a remodel we were doing and I said hey do you have a bunch of slurry I can take so he grabbed me a plastic bag and he got me the rock dust that was coming off the saw that was cutting our stones at the time I had hoped that oh maybe we can make a glaze and I could make tiles for the kitchen that were made with the same stone by the way I am seeing little marks here on the maybe I didn't pick a clean piece but anyways that's where this came from and so I didn't do a lot to it other than slurry it up and run it through an 80 mesh sieve and what we see here is what made it through the sieve and boy this is going on terrible Ugh. all right well again I could have done a better job but we'll at least get to see what happens I wanted to do one more thing because I have more of this if, if I had more of the red rock I'd consider doing this too but I want to take what's left and put in a tiny amount of wood ash. This is wood ash from my fireplace, almond wood, and I've run it through a sieve to get rid of the big chunks. I don't need much. But so there we go. There's your wood ash additive. A little bit of water. I mean, I've heard of wood ash being used to melt stone, homemade stone glazes, so this is not a complete shot out of left field, but I have no idea if it'll work. So, I want to try a thick coating, and what I want to be able to do is just pour it in and pour it out. So there you go. The inside is granite dust and wood ash. Okay, so here's the red rock. We've got maybe two thirds of the way around. So I'll just dip one side in. There you go. Good. That'll be a good test. So here are our rock glazes out of the kiln. Interesting results. So this is the granite dust I said I got from the stone saw that cut the stone for my countertops. Uh, has ash, wood ash mixed into it on the interior and then just the stone paste 80 mesh sieve on the outside. And then I dipped it in a clear just to see how it would react. I don't know. It is interesting that it, it's stuck, just the stone stuck. It's not like the stone just turned into a powder and fell off. There was clearly some sort of some sort of centering or melting happening, but it, it, the, the finish is terrible. I mean, the blotchy, the chunky, it just looks like a, someone cleaned a cement trowel on this, but <clears throat> it did stick, so. And in terms of texture with the wood ash mixed in, I'd say feels like a fine sandstone. It's got a little bit of a tooth to it, but and, and if it, let's see if the clear went over it. No, the clear didn't hit it. It'd be interesting to see what it would look like with the clear on top. But the redstone continued to uh, show signs of promise. I mean, clearly we did not get very much from the from the saw, but the clear kind of washes it out but you know this is just straight stone there's no, nothing else added so I find that pretty cool that it melts shiny like that it's a real pain to get but if you had something real specific like filling your maker's mark or a logo or something I don't know it's kind of cool that you ground your own stone so I don't know there you go take it for what it is Thank you.